Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to work on how to make corsages or boutonnieres, and we're gonna use just Dollar Tree products. So you're gonna pick flowers. I just made these for the 4th of July, but you can pick any flowers this will work with. You're also gonna need some floral tape. Now I will tell you, this floral tape from the Dollar Tree is lousy, it doesn't stick. But um, you can also, if you're gonna use a pin corsage, you might need some straight pins. Um, and as you can see, the ones with the, with the pearl heads are the best, but they sell, they sell these at the Dollar Tree and they have straight pins in them. So that's an alternative. Um, or if you're making a wrist corsage, I like to use these elastic hair ribbons from the Dollar Tree, but um, I actually got these ones at the Target Dollar Spot for a dollar, and I'm gonna use the silver one. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pick your flowers, and we're gonna, first one we're gonna work on is the pinned chest corsage. Now the amount of flowers that you use is entirely up to you, and it also will depend on the size of the flower. These um, red, white, and blue flowers are rather large, so I'm only gonna use three for the chest corsage, um, or the pinned corsage, but of course you can make them as big as you want. Um, I know um, they do mums for cheerleading, and I mean, there's all these kinds of like um, wonderful things. I really did wanna get these up before prom season, but it just didn't work out, so I'm sorry about that. But I thought that how cute this would be for uh, 4th of July parade, or just to, maybe to give as a hostess gift or any of those things. So what I've done is I've cut the stems, and uh, for those of you who are new, I just take my regular scissor and I, wherever I wanna cut the stem, I spin the plastic coating in there. It scores the metal and all it does is snap right off. It cut it cuts the plastic coating and scores the metal. Then I've taken each stem out and glued it back in so it's more permanent and you don't have to worry about it coming out because this corsage will last you year after year after year. Okay? And um, then once the glue is set, I went ahead and I bent the heads of the flowers so that you can imagine if you want the stems to lay on your chest, you want the flowers to point um, out instead of up um, so you're not the only one who gets to see them so we just bent them a little bit at a little bit of a 90 degree angle so when designing the corsage you do whatever it looks good to you but I like to make it so that one um, they kind of tear down so I am because this isn't really good floral tape I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna utilize a little hot glue um, just to keep the stems in the position that I want them to be in and then I'm gonna use the floral tape almost as a protective coating as opposed to um, floral tape should really be the way that you attach these flowers together. Um, it also, uh, regular floral tape or proper floral tape, <laughs> not expired floral tape, I don't know exactly what's wrong with this stuff, has a self-sticking um, component. So basically as you pull it, it releases some tack and it sticks to itself. But this is not doing that. This is very dry for some reason. So we're gonna add some hot glue to it. But basically what I'm doing is I've positioned my flowers and like I said, I glued um, the first two and I'm making a staggered so it's um, basically um, one, then one down in the middle on the right, uh, one on the top on the left, middle on the right, um, bottom on the left. Um, and I've just floral wired them together um, to sort of step it down. And now we're gonna make a bow. I'm taking some red grow grain ribbon from the Dollar Tree and this technique is basically a back and forth technique. So you start with the end of the ribbon and you make one loop in one direction, the width that you'd like half of it or half the width of the bow that you'd like to be. And then you make a loop on the other side and you, I just fold it in half to measure against itself to make sure that they're even. And then you repeat that with a shorter bow um, there in the second and that I'm sorry on top of it and then finally you end up you cut a little piece of ribbon and you make a loop around in the center then you add your wire and this is just an old twist tie I keep them in a drawer left over but you can use floral wire from the Dollar Tree and I just twist them together um, and that's pretty much it and I added a ribbon for tails I really hope I was able to explain that good enough um, then I'm just going to twist it really hard onto itself and then we're going to add it to the corsage and once we add it to the corsage then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some more floral tape again on the corsage where do you want it you could just take the twist tie and twist it around there and just not even cover it with floral tape but I took the twist tie and I twisted it around the stems and now I'm covering 
all of this silver twist tie with floral tape just to make it look more finished. And again, I really wish this floral tape worked. If you guys get the opportunity to buy floral tape somewhere else. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that floral tape at the Dollar Tree is bad. This package of floral tape from the Dollar Tree was bad. I have never tried floral tape from the Dollar Tree because it lasts so long. I think the floral tape that I just ran out of before I made the pens for Mother's Day was floral tape that I bought for my wedding in 2000. So um, I guess if you do a lot of floral, proje floral projects and make a lot of corsage and boutonnieres, I guess it probably goes faster. Um, so that's it. And then I've, I've, I've added a little hot glue to help it out. Um, just to keep the ribbon on um, from, from unraveling, the floral tape, I'm sorry. And then I stuck the pin in the back. And for those of you who have ever worn a corsage, you know how that goes. Okay. Um, so now I feel like it needs a couple of leaves. And this is an option. If you thought it looked nice by itself, then you don't have to do this. Um, and because they're, you know, this is artificial flowers, I'm just going to glue some leaves to the back of the flower. So it sticks out just enough. You don't have to worry about wiring it in or anything fancy. Um, obviously, if you were going to sell this, then you want to make it look more professional. But um, that's all we're going to do here. And this is how it looks. Um, I really like the way it turned out. And I feel so patriotic. Um, and then the next one we're going to do is the wrist corsage. Now, I'm also going to design this one a little bit different. We're going to use four flowers. And I have always feel that a wrist corsage long... Um, always looks really elegant and pretty, but again, you do what you like, um, the aesthetic that you like. So I've cut these flowers stems a little bit longer, and I've left the the green leaves on the blue flower. I've kind of slid it up um, to where we're going to glue it. Now I'm just testing these hair bands from um, the dollar spot at Target to see how they fit on my wrist. I do have kind of a thick wrist, but again, you can customize this. You can untie and retie this ribbon tighter, but I actually had to loosen this silver one. Sometimes, um, you'll see I try on the red and white one, and it's nice. It's a nice pliable elastic, but the, um, the silver one was kind of really stiff, so I pulled at it and made the knot a little, um, basically made it a little looser. I slid it. When you pull it tight, when you pull it open, it slides the knot up, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, man. I have a lot of trouble talking these days. So now we're going to go ahead and glue the flowers on like we did before. Um, and I will tell you that um, when I say set them off to set the side and let them cool off before you bend them, I mean it. Follow. Do as I say, not as I do, because I ended up breaking the blue flower. Um, the the hot glue does melt the plastic a bit and if what happened was I actually poked I actually you know the little stem that comes out of the bud that attaches to the stem I actually ripped it off right there right oh Jerry don't do that again oh she did it again man she did it in real life and then on the videotape I can't believe she did it again but anyhow <laughs> I thought I tried to fix it, but then I went to go put it on. I ended up having to just glue it to the stem, really, like, with a lot of glue. So, um, and then you're just going to repeat. And again, I just slid the leaves up on the blue flower so that they would be on there. And again, leaves are optional. It's totally up to you. If you don't want any greenery at all, it also looks very cute. And I'm just showing you how I'm arranging them. I've tried to do the same arrangement pretty much, like, um, red up taller than the white than the blue but with the corsage um the wrist corsage we're going to take the other red flower and we're going to put the stem in the other direction but that's after we get them all wired together um you can add a little glue like we did before to keep these um intact and to keep them you know from shifting around because this is bad floral tape but if you get good floral tape you won't have to do that <laughs> and then um I positioned it up, but I felt like the stem was a little too long, so I just um, took it out and uh, recut up the stem. Oh, what I did first was I measured and I said, oh, it's too low. So I put up some floral tape and then I realized how high I wanted it to be. And then I realized the stem was too long, so then I went ahead and I recut it. Which again, it's so simple. Here's the technique. You just take your scissor, you spin it around the plastic, it scores the wire. Um, and this is just a regular scissor. This is like a regular paper scissor. It 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 uh, c 
cuts through the plastic and scores the wire so it's so easy to break just right off. Um, and then I, I uh, used some of the floral tape on that last red flower. <coughs> and now I'm using hot glue and floral tape to glue this ribbon on. Um, this ribbon is kind of pretty with the silver, but I am going to cover it with the ribbon. I was kind of like back and forth about, do I should I put the knot on the inside of the person's wrist? Should I hide the knot? Like I was trying to figure out like what would I do? So I ended up hiding the knot, um, which ended up being okay. It actually looks really cute when it's done, but um, it, that's just an option. You find it easier to just put the ribbon part, um, if to tape the ribbon part up, then you can do that part as well. And I've just wrapped a few layers of the floral tape around and actually threw the wristband a couple of times as well. Okay. And then we're going to make a bow for this one too. Now this one we're going to do a little bit of a different bow. Um, this bow that um, I'm making, I'm, I've never really been crazy about them. They're the kind of the bows that you get from the florist where it's just like a whole bunch of loopy ribbon wired together just hasn't been my favorite type of bow which is why I really never showed you guys how to do it but um, I'll show you here and again it's not very difficult um, this one is actually sort of easy because you take the the ribbon and you uh, wrap it around your hand five six seven times depending on how many loops you want um, and then you fold it in half and I cut these little notches off the side. This is the way Mrs. Mahoney taught me how to do it um, all those years ago. And then I fished the wire under the folds through all of the layers of ribbon, put the tails on, and then you want to twist. Now, how I like to twist it is I like to hold um, the the wire in my right hand and twist the ribbons actually and what that does is it brings the twist up a little higher on the ribbon as opposed to twisting the wire that comes off of it and it makes it nice and tight okay and then what you do is you start taking the loops out now the reason we made those notches is it'll hold the loops in place a little bit better if you don't make the notches over time the loops might go back into their nesting resting place um, so what we do is we basically pull them out from the inside and then what I like to do is I take the first inside layer and I pull it to the right, then the second inside layer I pull it to the left, then to the right and to the left. And I do that until all of the layers are separated. And then if the layers are being obstinate or trying to go back, you just take the, the whole loop and you can twist it a couple of times and that sometimes keeps it in its place. But like I said, this is not, this, this is why this isn't my favorite, you know, because it, it's sort of, a, you know, very ornery. And then I just cut off the little extra ribbon that was at the end, and I'm wiring it to the corsage right around where the knot was, and I'm just gonna cover the knot with the ribbon. See right there. And that's it pretty much. Um, once you get that done, you just do your zhuzhing. You know, we like the word zhuzh. And um, you just fix it where it needs to go and, and fluff it where it needs to be and bend flowers back where they need to go. And, oh yeah, then I'm gonna dog ear these. And here's how it looks. I think it's super cute. I like it with the little gro with the little gingham ribbon. And I didn't demonstrate how to do the boutonniere because it pretty much is the single pin corsage, but with just one flower. But I just wanted to show you some variations. I took some of this Queen Anne's lace and I glued it to the back of the flower and between the flower and the leaf, I should say. And then you just stick a pin in like that. And that's it, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed these tutorials. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Share with friends and family, anybody you know who was ever interested in learning how to easy it was to make these. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And if you decide to try these and make one or all of them, go ahead and share it with me on social media. You can email me at Mrs. Garth b2 at gmail.com you could follow me on twitter facebook instagram links for everything are down in the description box and as always you take care god bless see you next time bye bye